everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer from Rochester, Wisconsin. Down this nondescript country road is an aircraft manufacturer that's been at it in one form or another for quite some time, and that's American Champion Aircraft. They make a full line of rag and tube tail draggers plus an LSA. Now in this brief video, Jerry Mayhaff will give us a little tour of some of the uh, company's airplanes and the uh, factory itself. And then elsewhere on AvWeb, you can find a brief flight review of the company's newest product, which is the Scout Denali. American Champion's designs date back to the original models first built in the 1940s, but they've been considerably updated since the factory opened in Rochester 20 years ago. The Champion line is very much a traditional design with a welded fuselage and fabric cover, but the company applies modern technology to improve the product including powder coating the fuselage structure and state-of-the-art paints. Champion makes practically every part that goes into the airplane, right down to the gasculator fittings. To improve part quality and raw materials yield, Champion uses a laser cutting machine for many of its parts. Like every other aircraft manufacturer, American Champion has had to cope with a drastic downturn in sales since 2008, although things are picking up a little in the fall of 2011. One way Champion has survived is by holding its costs down and understanding who its customers are in a niche market. Here's Jerry Mayhem. Well, I would guess between 60 and 70 percent of our aircraft buyers are for personal use, and the others would be state and federal agency and universities for upset training. Uh, Emory Riddle has several, UND has got several, Purdue are some of the colleges that have them. My thoughts on an airplane like ours, the life expectancy is probably 40, 50 years. A composite, how many thousands of hours before there's a life limit on the fiberglass itself. And the repairability and replacement capability of the two airplanes are a major factor. In addition to manufacturing new aircraft, especially now with the economy being a little soft, we do have a certified repair station. So we do restorations, uh, we do insurance jobs from hail damage to ground loops to flip overs to total restorations of airplanes built in the 60s or 70s. The least expensive airplane would be our Champ, which is uh, only certified LSA airplane. The base price of this year is 1099 and typically equipped with a nice radio package and a few extras is about 120 to 125. Our next would be the Aurora, which is 118 horsepower 0235 at 1750 gross. That typically runs between 15 and 20,000 more. Then the next version is, is the, the Adventure, which is the same basic airplane other than it has a 160 horsepower engine, and that's roughly about five or 6,000 more than that. The next version is our Explorer, which has, a, has flaps, and that's about, on the base price, is only about four or 5,000 more than the Adventure because it's very similar other than having a bigger wing with flaps. And then there's two versions of that. There's a, the standard 160 horsepower version, and then there's a high country version, which is 180 horsepower. And that runs about $9,000 more. And the next step up would be our Scout, which is uh, 2150 gross. So, uh, it has either an O2360, which is 180 horsepower with a constant speed. We have five propeller choices, whether it's a 80 inch fixed pitch to an 80 inch MT to a three blade hard or three blade MT prop. Uh, and now we also have another version that we just got certification as our Denali Scout, which has the old, the new O390. It's actually an I-O390, I should say. It's an injected airplane, a 200 horsepower with a tuned exhaust. And the difference between the two models is just the horsepower and performance difference. It's roughly 35% better performance than the straight Scout. Oh,